Good evening, I'm Tom Tucker. Our top story, doing laundry and drinking beer. <clears throat> I'm sorry, doing laundry and drinking beer? beer. So oh. if you want to drink and watch your kid's teacher wash his only pair of pants, get on down there. Oh, cool! We should go! Nothing better than putting on a warm diaper right out of the dryer. Hey, check it out. You and Peter have the same undies. What are you talking about? He just wears run-of-the-mill Hanes. Here's All pilots wear them. Look at that. Planes. The perfect underwear for unexpected wind shear. Peter, what would you like for breakfast? Chocolate chip pancakes. Lois, can I see you when you had a room for a second? I couldn't perform a third time, so we just read. Morning, beautiful. I have the Uber guy sleep outside, so he's ready when you're ready. <laughs> John. We now return to Baywatch. All right. There he is. The reason our lawn looks like it has leopard skin pants. What's up with you lately? You've been acting really weird all of a sudden. All you constantly want to sleep with my wife, who is an angel. Oh, and the hypocrisy. You claim to be an ally to women, but I bet you don't even know Nancy Pelosi's official sure. title. Forget sure. it, Brian. Now, can you strap me to this milking table? My wife will be home soon. What happened to you? I'm not really sure. I was in line at the bank, and this human-sized chicken cut in front of me. Well, I wasn't going to let that stand. You two are both acting very strange, and I think I know what it is. He's wearing your underwear, and you're wearing his. What are you talking about? We didn't switch underwear. Turn around, butt to butt. Pains. Pains. Oh, oh my god. god. Hey, I, I, uh, I didn't... <sighs> not sure what to say. I know. It's awkward. I thought things would go back to normal after we traded underwear yesterday. Hey, you don't think the guys are talking about us, do you? Oh, I don't think so. Oh, my God. I still can't believe they wore each other's underwear. Like what if we wore each other's underwear just for a joke? What? No, that's a terrible idea. You're so stupid! Can I be done now? Thanks again for having us over, Lois. Zesty Italian? Oh, I, I just couldn't. Not this close to bedtime. You said you were going to cancel dinner. I have zero control in my marriage. Whoops, I dropped my roll, which is not at all an invitation for Peter to have an under-the-table conference. <laughs> Darn thing's always coming off. Excuse me for one moment, won't you? And you should probably get checked. They say when you wear someone's underwear, you're also wearing the underwear of everyone whose underwear they've worn. I can't believe this. I thought I knew you, Glenn Quagmire. This meal. We accidentally wore each other's underwear. <laughs> I can't believe you wore each other's undies. <laughs> While that is super sexy and being stored for later, it's very different for guys. That's not true. Male friends can be more intimate than they used to. Nope. Now, and the lines of sexuality are more fluid than ever. Nope. Nope. And people... What's going on out there, Dad? We accidentally wore each other's underwear, so Mr. Quagmire is moving. Oh, wow. Yeah, obviously one of you would need Dad. to. Look, I don't have a lot of friends. It's kind of a problem on the show. But if I did, I would never let anything come between us, especially a pair of underwear. Lois, you're right. Now go tell him not to move. Quagmire, I just want to say that you can wreck a good pair of underwear, but you can't wreck a good friendship. That's nice, Peter. Underwear. Everyone, welcome to our summer block party. Now eat and drink up. Yeah, and all... All right, time to slippery slide. You sure? Okay, slippery. Bri, watch and learn. <laughs> ah! Ooh. The public. You must be a United States Senator. Yeah, I'm also pretty down. My real estate agent died. What? My real estate agent. 
Like how no... did he die? He was screwing a client's wife, and the guy shot him. You Man, know. What the hell happened to us? Why are we such losers? Sounds like you fellas are finding yourselves in a trough. Oh, hey, Mr. Mayor. How are you? Hey, can we talk about expanding bike lanes in urban centers? Quite my I own a dude ranch on the outskirts of town. You fellas should spend a weekend there. And... Well, I think going there sounds like a great idea. Yeah, it's exactly what we need. I'm in. Morning, fellas. Morning, Mr. Mayor. Hey, can I get a room far away from the ice machine? Ice machine? See that? Here, have a hat. My own cowboy hat. News, and over your privates when an outhouse falls down comically around you. Ah! Mine's small enough that I don't need the hat. News, pair you all up with a horse. Great! I want this one. The horse chooses them. Now, hold on. You fellas ain't cowboys yet. Not until you blaze your own trails. Is that to find your courage, you need to do the last leg of this journey on your own and drive these cattle back to camp. Peter, the cattle chooses you. But if you don't look back. Hmm. It's yeah. just me and you, Mr. Bear. <laughs> I'm gonna run behind this tree and then the bear's gonna drag me out. Wow. Me. Ah, oh no, I'm being tossed around. Oh no, oh no, hell. Make him stop. Ah, this is the real me. Giddy up. Yeah, little nice X. Don't you see, fellas? We made an oath to the mayor to get our manhood back. And our hats are that manhood. So we gotta find that bear and get it back. I don't know. That sounds dangerous. Uh-oh. I'm gonna get revenant in. Don't worry, Peter. We got this. All right! And I lassoed his neck so he can masturbate. <gasps> Old Man West? Do you Sorry to put you boys through the paces, but I felt like you needed a little nudge to find your courage. The hat chooses you. How oh, it's good to have you home, Peter. Thanks. Hey, Donna, I have to go. What? Oh, the mayor also runs a ranch for women trying to get in touch with their femininity. Ladies, these grocery carts are an oath. Yeah. I might say the same thing about Ghostbusters. Oh, it's a letter from my fancy private high school. Yeah. I went to the Fansington's Academy for Insufferable Girls. Yes. I'm sure you and Peter will have a great time. Uh, Peter. Nobody look. This is a private gross matter. Oh, hey, Lois. Wow, look at you, reading a book, huh? Oh, yeah, I read everything people leave on planes. I read the... Glenn, I have this class reunion coming up soon, and I thought maybe it'd be fun if, I don't know, you know, maybe the two of us went together? But, what the uh, hell? I'll try anything once. Where are you going, Mom? So what do we do for dinner? Like, pizza? No, pizza. Yeah. Okay, Peter, right. if you disobey me about the pizza, there will be consequences. Ma You're going to that reunion, oh. aren't you? Yes, I'm going, but with Quagmire, not Peter. Fine. But, but nothing. Fetch! Oh, not cool, Lois. Very not cool. All right, she's gone. Now, who wants pizza? Here's your pie. May I use your bathroom? Absolutely. We'll be out here eating pizza like we're in an 80s commercial. <gasps> I think he's had a heart attack. He's dead. Oh, no. Your mother is going to find out we had pizza. What the? Whoa, whoa, 
Oh, I had nothing to do with this. Then how did this happen? Well, I'm a platinum member at all the hotel chains, so they probably just saw my name and upgraded us. But well, don't get any ideas, because nothing is gonna happen between us. You have nothing to worry about. I'll be more of a gentleman than John Wayne Bobbitt with his second wife. Well, I have been dying to see that new Rebel Wilson movie. What? I hear she... <sighs> Let's just do this. Okay, we have to get rid of this body so your mom can't connect us with the pizza. Anybody got any ideas? We... Oh, no. This means there are still undelivered pizzas in his car. Which means we gotta deliver the rest of his pizzas. And we'll leave... Okay, it's showtime. Right, I'd like you to meet my husband. We're married, hence the rings. May I say that you have the breasts of an obese woman and the arms of an anorexic? Oh! <gasps> God, this car is depressing. Is Where's our first stop? The police station. Yes! All those in favor of Meg getting in the dead guy's clothes with him and scarecrowing him in, raise your hand. Fine, I'll do it. But. Hey, I hate to be the bearer of bad shoes, but your sneaker's untied. We're one short on the suspect lineup. Know anyone who could fill in? Oh, come on! Five, six, seven, eight. What's next? The cadaver dog training facility. I've been waiting for you, Georgie. The pizza guy's having a secret affair. Oh, I ordered another pizza. Oh, thanks for being a great husband tonight. I mean, when you got that standing ovation for comparing the estate tax to the Holocaust, I felt like the bell of the ball. I really... So? So? I want you to meet the cocktail waitress I'm about to sleep with. What? Anyway, we're taking off now. Enjoy Crackle. I can't believe this. Oh, look who decided to show up. Hey, Lois. That was some night. You'll be happy to know I was able to perform on a four-inch thick futon in front of three roommates. Grats. Oh, he is wonderful. Lois, where did you find him? Last night he screwed the cocktail waitress. <gasps> <gasps> What is your problem? Get away from me! What's going on? I wanted you to try. Then I could shoot you down and feel sexually desirable and morally superior. But you're both those things. And I shouldn't need the attention of another man to feel sexy and young. That's a little wet a tit. <gasps> How dare you! And thank you. Wait, hold on, Peter. This feels wrong. We can't... You're right, Brian. I'll do the honors. I always loved how he looked around the house a little too much while I was digging the money out of my water. Young and... Peter, what the hell is going on? You ordered pizza, didn't you? Yes, ma'am. Oh, I don't care. I love you, Peter. Mm. You... I went to my high school reunion this weekend and I didn't invite you. What? Thank you. Oh, thank you. Mm.